In this problem, we're going to compute various operations with dot products. So our first vector here is u, and it's given by 3, 12 in component form. And our other vector is v, which is negative 4, 3. Okay, part A, we have to compute u dot v. So let's do it. So u dot v. So all we do is we multiply the components and add. So 3 times negative 4. And then you put a plus sign. And then 12 times 3. So 12 times 3. Looks okay. So this is negative 12 plus 36, which is equal to 24. So the answer to part A is 24. So the dot product is a number. And remember, if the dot product of two vectors is 0, then the vectors are perpendicular. Part B, we have to compute the dot product of u with itself. So u dot u. This is just going to be 3 times 3. So 3 times 3, because it's, right, let me write it up here again so you see it. You're basically just multiplying the components. So 3 times 3 plus 12 times 12. So that gives us 9 plus 144. So 9 plus 144 is 153. So that will be the dot product of u with itself. So 153. Part C, we have to find the magnitude of v squared. Recall that the magnitude of v is simply the square root of the component squared. So negative 4 squared plus 3 squared. That's the magnitude of v. You just take the square root and square the components. So if you square the magnitude, what happens is you just get negative 4 squared plus 3 squared. So you just get v dotted with itself, just random fact. So the magnitude of v squared is actually v dot v, just kind of, kind of an interesting uh, outcome. Anyways, this is 16 plus 9 which is 25. So the magnitude of v squared is simply 25. Alternatively, you could just, you know, work out the magnitude of v. So we could have just, you know, worked this out. So we could have done this and gotten square root of 25, which is 5. And then you just square the answer and you get uh, 25. Let's go ahead and do part D. So part D. So in part D, we have u dot v, and then parentheses, and then v. So this is a number. Okay, This is a number times a vector. So we've already worked out u dot v. We know it's 24. And let me go ahead and write down v here. Remember, that was from part A. So v is negative 4, comma, 3. So let's see, so 24 times 4 is going to be 96. So this is negative 96, and then 24 times 3 is 72. So this would be the answer to part D. So this is, I'm going to click on the um, vector button here, vectors, and go over here and click the vector bracket and type in negative 96 comma 72. Then I'm going to take my mouse and click on part E and then it gives us the other bracket. Part E. So we have u dot 3v. So there is a trick. Whenever you have a number like this in front of a vector, you can pull the number out and you can do this. You're allowed to do this. It's just a clever trick. You don't have to do this. You could just take the 3 and multiply it by the v, and then compute the dot product. Or you can take this shortcut. We know that u dot v is 24 from part a. So this is 3 times 24, and that's equal to 72. So that would be the answer to part e. So not a hard problem. 
uh, just really computational and just take your time. I hope this video has been helpful.